Hey guys, welcome back to another week of The Vegan Shot. Thank you for tuning back into our channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Courtney. I'm Reba. And we make vegan recipe videos. If you're into that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you never miss one. Now without further ado, let's get into the recipe. Today, I'm going to show you how to make cauliflower patties. To start, you'll need cauliflower. This is about half of a head. I went ahead and boiled it on the stove in some salt water for about 20 minutes just until you can poke a fork through it and it's nice and tender. Go ahead and pour that in the food processor. While the cauliflower was cooking, I went ahead and poured my dry ingredients into a mixing bowl. So I have chickpea flour, flaxseed, and seasonings. The measurements will be down below in the description box. So you just wanna stir that around, give it a nice little mix, and then sit that aside. To add to the wet mixture, you're going to take one can of black beans, drained and rinsed. And then I have some minced garlic and parsley. The, the measurements will be in the description box for this as well. That goes into you pulse your mixture it should look something like this so yeah not too over combined but you want it to be mixed together nicely so you're going to put the wet ingredients onto the dry ingredients and then we're going to mix it together with our hands this recipe makes about 10 cauliflower patties so once you've gotten all of your mixture nice and combined, you just wanna go ahead and form those patties with your hand. I'm gonna lay them here on this cookie sheet that we've prepared with parchment paper. And then after that, we'll get to frying. I went ahead and heated some coconut oil in a pan and you just wanna wait until that gets nice and hot. Then you're going to add your cauliflower patties in. You wanna cook them for about five minutes each side. So this is what they look like after they've been flipped. And then after the other side is cooked for about five minutes, transfer them to a plate with a napkin on it just to absorb some of that extra oil. And you're done. I'm gonna show you how to make some roasted potatoes. I have some pre-cut potatoes right here. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil just to give it a nice coating. Then I'll grab the minced garlic. Add about, we like garlic, so I'll add about two tablespoons of that as well. I have a bowl of about half an onion. I'll go ahead and add that to the mixture. And lastly, I have some seasonings that will be listed below. So you're gonna go ahead and mix that together. And while you're doing this, you're gonna wanna go ahead and preheat the oven to 425. Alright, so once you have it completely combined, you're going to want to go ahead and add your potatoes to your pre-greased pan. Next, in this recipe, we're going to work on the tofu. So what we've done is pressed our tofu using a tofu press for about 30 minutes. We put a spicy jerk marinade on this one, and then on this one we also added a browning sauce, and we let them marinate for about 20 to 30 minutes. Next, you're gonna take a greased baking sheet and you're gonna go ahead and lay your tofu flat on the baking sheet, like so.
Now that your potatoes and tofu have been prepped, your oven should already be preheated to 425 degrees. We're gonna throw both of these in there for about 25 to 30 minutes. All right guys, so now we're making vegetables. First thing you wanna do, is heat the pan up to about halfway, medium heat. And I'm gonna go ahead and add vegetable broth. Let that heat up just a bit. Probably about half a cup of the vegetable broth. Now that the vegetable broth is heated up, uh, I've got carrots and bok choy right here. I'll go ahead and put that in there. I'll add just about a tablespoon of garlic. I've also got about two shallots right here. Go ahead and add that. And we'll go ahead and mix that around. And we'll go ahead and cover that for just a couple of minutes. Let it simmer down before we add the rest of the vegetables. All right. Now we'll go ahead and add the cabbage. And on top of that, I've got seasonings here that will be in the description below. Go ahead and mix that up. And we'll go ahead and cover that as well for another couple minutes. Wow, doesn't that look amazing? Sure does. That recipe was so delicious. The tofu was super spicy, so if you're into spice like I am, definitely check out that jerk marinade that I linked down below in the description box. I really enjoyed the cauliflower patties. They'd be good on a burger, or even just how we had them, just on the side. So we hope you guys try this recipe out. If you do, leave us a comment. Let us know what you'd like to see from us. If you guys like this style video, we're gonna keep doing them. If you want to see something different, comment down below and we'll get back to you. That's all we have for you this week. See you next time.